Right, I'm just going to have uh, show you some of the knives that I've gathered over the years. Um, some of these I've had for a very long time. Um, and uh, a couple are fairly recent acquisitions. Um, so I'll just run through what I've got. So I've got the Victorinox, the Swiss Army knife, uh, wooden scales, lock knife. Uh, this is one of my older knives. I've had this a long time um, and it is showing signs of uh, some abuse, both on the scales where I've used it to knock, uh, rather foolishly used it to knock in uh, long neck poles. Uh, out ferreting and the blade also has some fairly bad scratches on the uh, on the stainless. Uh, the edge itself is great though, no damage to the edge, uh, no damage to the tip, it's just got some scratches on it. Great knife this, like I said, had this quite a long time um, and it's just been faultless, it sharpens really easy, it blunts gets blunt pretty quick but it sharpens up fairly quickly and takes a decent edge. A um, few useful tools on it, small bottle opener with a little screwdriver head, bigger screwdriver um, and it's got, this one has got one of my favourite things on this, is that it doesn't lock unfortunately, um, the blade locks but the other tools don't lock and it's got this really nice saw with really aggressive teeth and that really makes short work things. Um, that's why I use this fair bit for ferreting because it's really handy um, if you have to dig a ferret out and you're coming across roots or something it's, you can get right in the hole and just saw through them dead easily with that. It's a really nice knife. So that's that one. Then I've got this one. This is um, the uh, wooden scaled version of the standard Swiss Army knife. Um, everyone's got a Swiss Army knife, uh, more than likely. So they have all sorts of tools on it. It's got the usual array of tools on it. Um, this one has got, and some Swiss Army knives I know don't, but this one has got a lock on the main blade. Um, and it locks really well as well, to be fair. And it's quite a nice blade, takes a good edge, and being Swiss Army Knife, you know that the tools that come with it, unlike a lot of the little copies of these multi-purpose knives, a lot of them the tools are rubbish, the heads and the steel they're made of is pathetic, and they just round off, the screwdrivers round off, the awls and things bend and they fall apart. But the Swiss Army ones, in all fairness, I know they're expensive, but they're very, very good quality. Again, I have this a long time um, and this is a really really nifty bit of kit it's got some really useful tools um, that I use a fair bit and it's just a just a really well made knife very very good quality as you would expect from Swiss Army the scissors in particular I use a fair bit um, and they're still pretty much as sharp as they were the day I got them um, the only thing that has happened with the scissors is the little spring thing does sometimes seize up because I did actually uh, manage to clout it and bend it a bit. But I bent it back and it's actually working okay now. So, little Swiss Army knife. Wooden scales. Always prefer wooden scales. I'm not a big fan of the plastic scales because I think when they get wet they get very slippy. Um, the wooden scales are better. Yes, you have to look after them a bit. Um, oil them and whatnot to stop them cracking, but it's a small price to pay for a better grip on a wet and horrible day. So that's the two Swiss Army ones, Victorinox knives, really nice. Then my most recent recent acquisition, Falkneden PX1 or PXL rather. Really, this is top notch. Now, this is a top notch knife. Really good quality. I'm so solid and a fantastic blade. This has got a blade like a razor. It's really good quality, really nice lock. And uh, I did a review of this fairly recently, so I won't repeat myself too much. But really, really nice knife. Very, very handy. Very good. 
It's already seen a bit of use for me. Um, used it the other day when I was out lamping for gutting a few rabbits and uh, yesterday when I was out with the leshy in the morning shooting. Um, again, gutted a couple of rabbits with it and it's just great and it washes so easy. Just throw it in the sink, clean, brilliant little knife. That really is a bit of quality, fair dues, very nice. Then, probably one of the more common knives amongst the fixed blade knives amongst people, and that's the Castron. Uh, again, this one had this quite a long time. Um, and again, the blade is showing some signs of scratching on the, uh, on the blade, scratching scuffs. Uh, but overall, I must admit, this again holds a very good edge and the actual blade edge is totally undamaged throughout all the heavy use it's had. And this is out of fair old battery, I must admit. Um, I've used this for everything, all sorts of different things. And believe it or not, I've actually even used this to uh, to dig a ferret out of a, of a hole. Uh, obviously not right up to the ferret because I didn't want to stab him with the knife, but I've dug the most of the surface away with it and then uh, dug the rest of it out by hand when I lost my uh, folding shovel. So really nice knife, that's a really good little thing. Feels good in the hand, nicely balanced, and these are dead common. Lots of people got these. They're all over the place. So it's good knife, good knife, well made, dead solid. Like I said, I've had that quite a long time. It's had a fair old battery and uh, it's doing well. It makes a nice little camping knife as well. Oh, I fitted a dangler on it as well. Because what I did find, if you put it like that on your uh, belt, you kept getting in the way of my leg. I couldn't bend my knees so clearly without it sticking in me all the time. So I put a dangler on it, much better. Nice cast on one. And again, really good quality. Um, Castrum knives are not that expensive and the quality is really good to be fair. Then one of my most heavily used knives, this thing's seen lots of use um, as a gutting and prepping knife um, and this was handmade for me um, in a forge in Scotland, cane toed knives in Scotland and uh, had this handmade just for me for my spec that I asked for. And this is great, it's a good gutting and skinning knife. And again, this one has had a lot of use. It's not a stainless blade, so you do have to look after the blade a bit more with it not being stainless um, and oil it and whatnot. Um, really, this is superbly balanced and fits perfectly in my hand. Little um, serrations on the back to give you a bit of grip for when you're gutting and skinning. And a nice wide blade as well. I like that knife. I've had that a long, long time. And it's seen a lot of use. Um, and in all fairness, the edge and the blade and everything really. Um, obviously it looks a little bit more worn than the stainless blades. Because the stainless blades, as long as they don't scratch them, they come up quite, quite good. But these high carbon uh, non-stainless blades... Um, do start to look a little bit, they get a patina with them, really, uh, which I think sort of suits them. And then the biggest of the lot, the big daddy, the Falk Maiden A1X, and this is a proper beast of a knife, this thing. A really thick, heavy spine on it. Um, super sharp, super strong blade. I mean, this thing is an absolute monster. Um, I tend to find I use this thing more for chopping than uh, than actual sort of knife work. It makes a really good chopping knife. Um, if I want to uh, quarter up or cut rabbits in half to uh, before I freeze them from the ferrets, rather than trying to cut through them, this thing just put them on a block, bang straight through them, just chop straight through. Chopping back undergrowth when you're out hunting or ferreting or building a hide, anything really. Cutting uh, uh, ferreting, ferret net um, pegs and snare pegs. This thing's just a beast, just chops straight away. It's really good chopping knife because it's got a lot of weight to it and a really thick spine on it that take tons of abuse um, without showing any damage at all. Fault needing knives are fantastic.
Um, the Fault Maidens, I always get them from uh, Heine Hines um, in the UK. And they're just, just really good. And they stock the almost the full range of uh, Fault Maiden knives. But this is really nice. I got both those from there. Both Fault Maiden knives from there. So you've got one extreme to the other here. You've got the, the really big beast and the smaller folder. But the quality of both is superb. Really are super nice. Um, this is a real beast, a really good chopping knife. And it's got a really nice sheath as well because when you get it filthy, get any blood or anything on it, just throw it in the uh, throw it in the sink, bit of, bit of water, give it a scrub or so, bring it out and it's done. So there you go. Also like the little lock on this, where it locks away. It's really smart. Very well thought through knife. So there's my knife collection. Very nice they are too. Thanks for watching.